Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to another live session with Ana Nieto and I as part of our special series to help you create your up-leveled radiant reality. How's it going, Ana? It's going great. You look radiant today, Christine. <laughs> Thank you. You do too. Uh, today's topic is all about radiance. So Anna, do you want to set the stage a little bit um, and um, share, you know, again, why we're here and what we're up to? Yeah, I think it's a super interesting topic that we're going to be talking about radiance. And I know it's one of your favorites. And, uh, you know, we will be actually, if you haven't seen the live on Tuesday, right, we were talking about realign, I think it would be a nice one to listen to if you have a few minutes and get your two nice quick steps to get into realignment today if you choose to. And today, focus on radiance, our definition of it, getting also into um, your own radiance. And how do we do that? How can we shine brighter even in just a few minutes? And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So stay with us and enjoy that. Awesome, thank you, Anna. That was perfect setup for our conversation. So before we dive, or as we dive in, I wanna start with like, I think a really important topic, Anna, and that is radiance is not fluff. And we've been taught culturally and, and you know, in society and, and media that radiance is all about like how you look, you know, what your, your makeup, your beauty, your external beauty, the clothes you're wearing. And it's really done a disservice to the true meaning, um, the bigger meaning of our radiance. So that's part of what I want in our shifting session here to help um, raise some awareness and perspectives that radiance is so much more than what we've been told. So I want to start. I want to start with that. And especially as we age, right? We've been we've been taught, uh, and we'll we'll touch on this in a little bit. Like we've been taught that we the older we get, like the less beautiful we are, and that is so not true. Um, and I hope if in our session today we help to shift some of those perspectives and beliefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I think it's the, the need sometimes, right, that we have been uh, told by society of wanting to, or having to focus on the outside piece and how we wanna, you know, look so good from the outside, but forgetting a little bit the inside piece that as we are gonna be talking about today is gonna make your radiance externally look even better without having to make a lot of effort, right? Externally to look good. And um, I love how you say that the radiance is fluff because it's not fluff because mm -hmm. I, I totally believe in that as well. And I love that expression, yeah. Beautiful, thank you, thank you. So the key, the key thing is, and why we chose this as one of the three topics out of a hundred topics we could talk about and that we'll be bringing to um, other topics to our retreat is that, um, you know, radiance is something that is cornerstone to living a fulfilling life. And we need to, all of us need to really reclaim what is a divine birthright. We were born naturally radiant. And over time, we have lost that through conditioning. Again, we talked about society, through hurts and pains and, and past things that happened to us. So, um, you know, it was, it's truly a cornerstone even in my book, you know, radiant achievement. So I, I wanna talk about that because I, I give um, a couple definitions. And first I talk about what, what radiance is. And I, I went to dictionary.com or Merriam-Webster dictionary. And um, so kind of set again, that bigger context is radiance is marked by or expressive of love, confidence and happiness. Yes. And I love that definition. And to your point, I feel like sometimes when we use words, right, we get into semantics. And for some people, they might call something else radiance, right? But is that connection, is that definition that I think you just expressed that is the most important? Maybe for some of us is essence or is inner beauty, right? Do you agree with right. that? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, and I do frame it different ways uh, at times to myself, for sure. So yeah, feel into the, the essence of what we're saying. And it could be your, your essence. And um, also 
And because we, we're going to talk about the inner beauty versus the outer beauty, what to be radiant, which is another word that I looked up, is really about emitting rays of light, bright, shining, and bright with joy and hope. Mm. So, yeah, think about, you know, being radiant. And I know for me, having these conversations, I just feel more alive and and there is that light. You, you know, people might say, oh, you're such a light in the world, or you have such a glow about you. That's, that is an expression of, or that, then you know you're in your radiant essence. Yeah. So um, I was curious because, you know, I'm reading your book. Is that why you choose that name uh, for your book and also for your uh, brand, right? And your business in general. I want to, I want to actually learn that because I don't think I've ever asked you that before. Yeah, no, I, I love that question. And it absolutely was a conscious choice. And it really grew out of my journey where I realized I was not connected to my inner essence. I was not um, honoring and expressing my innate inner radiance. And as a result, externally, I felt dull, lifeless, and really, honestly, a shell. I felt like a shell of a woman. Yeah. And it was so hard when I finally realized that there was so much like, I, I felt a lot of sadness. And at the same time, I knew I was the one who had created this version of me and I can get her back. Like we never lose that inner spark. So in my journey of healing and growth and just really coming alive again, I truly did shift to be radiant once again. So yeah. that's, that's why it had to be in the book. <laughs> yes, and that's why this retreat also that we are creating which is that extension of your business has working together and you know i just want to um remember us you know the, the the theme for this retreat which is creating your up level radiant reality right it's about increasing the divine connection to your mind your body and a spirit for your highest level of fulfillment and success and that's why radiance i think is one of the key pieces you know that is very important that we talk about it and explain where we are coming from and from experience especially as you just said right? absolutely yes absolutely so let's let's dive into a little more about the, again radiance from that inner radiance and the outer radiance because the two the two are tightly connected and so it, inner radiance, and this is, I really, again, talk about it in the context of my book is, and from my experience, inner radiance are your dreams, your callings, your desires. Those really are the seeds of, of what can then um, be manifested externally, right? So it's those things that light you up when you pursue them. And when we talk about, you know, getting in, uh, being in alignment, it's it's really understanding, knowing, and honoring those those things that light us up. So we've got this in in us that that is there for us to connect to if we choose to. And when we say yes, and this was part of my transition in my life, is when I started listening to those inner callings and dreams and desires and saying yes to them. Then it really. Um, I don't say forced me, but it put me on a journey where I had, I got to face those things that were holding me back from really expressing my fullness. And as I shed those layers, not only did I then pursue my dreams and callings, but then that translated to the, the next step, which was the outer beauty. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit of how I look at inner beauty. I, I'd love to hear yeah, Does that no, resonate I, with you? Would you add something? I absolutely agree with you. And I'm letting you lead today because we're reading. <laughs> yet. But I want to add something to that because I feel that um, one of the things that you probably have heard and we all experience, right, to a certain degree is um, the fact that we are also looking always, most of the time, right, looking for getting things from the outside and giving things, right? And in this case, when I think about radiance, I kind of compare it to the image of love, right, that we have and how we always want to receive the love and give the love, right? And in this case, it's like you are that, 
you are becoming love. And that's why you are radiating. You know, as we have been talking about, you you are um, brighter than, uh, than a million light bulbs, right? That's what we've been saying. <laughs> because it's coming from that place of like, okay, I am that. It's not like I need to get it or give it, right? Even though it's right. beautiful, beautiful to receive it and it's beautiful to give it, but you know that you are that. And I think that's that's very important. As well as, you know, I'm always talking about being very much in contact with your body. And uh, I think the key also is to know when you need to fill your cup, understanding your body rhythms and understanding and respecting them, right? And if you need the rest, do that. So you can continue to keep that radiance um, showing externally and feeling it internally. Although um, I know we all get to the point where we are tired, right? And we need to replenish and we need to fill up. Being aware of that, I think is one of the keys that you can continue maintaining. So true. Yes, so true. I love it. And, and so what is coming up for me as you talk is I think about radiance is and the inner and outer radiance. They really are like married together. Right. Yeah, I think and so. absolutely. So how you how we take care of our bodies, like you said, honoring when we need rest. Like we can be pursuing our callings and our dreams and our desires, but if we're like grinding ourselves into the ground, again, we're going to be holding ourselves back from really being able to express and be um, the the brightest light that is possible in in the world and and even for ourselves and for our own uh, fulfillment and success. So yeah, and I think um, as you're talking, I'm thinking about something that I've been practicing a lot lately and uh, talking to other people about. And it's the fact that you can sit to do a task that maybe is not your favorite one with a certain (laughs) attitude or with another one, with a certain radiance or another one, right? But if you're coming to every single uh, task that you have to do, even the ones that you don't like, with that idea of, okay, I'm going to radiate even with this and see what happens. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you need to delegate it, but perhaps, you know, just utilizing that you can make it be a little bit more doable and successful. So Absolutely. And, Great uh, point. <laughs> yeah. And also about the outer radiance. And I mean, you are amazing at this because you have your mantra mats and I have one of those and I love them because it just makes you reflect and stop for a minute. And I think it's good to have a ritual, like an outside ritual that you do every day for your own external beauty, where um, at that time you can also spend it just looking at yourself in the mirror, like you said many times too, right? Yes. And appreciating the, be- the beauty in you and doing the things um, in your around your face and in your body that make you feel even more beautiful and even more radiant. I think it's good to have that ritual and spend that time for yourself as well. I wholeheartedly agree. In fact, my, on my website, um, it just popped in my head, my free gift on my website is an ebook that has 10 rituals to ignite your radiant achievement because I, I absolutely am with you. The power of ritual, whether it's your exercise, it's your meditation, it's your journaling, we, we absolutely need to be staying connected. Again, going back to our theme here, body, mind, and spirit. So, you know, creating, maintaining, expressing, expanding our radiance is really that inside out job. And we need to approach it from all three perspectives, body, mind, and spirit. So. And- uh, I'd like yeah. to add one more thing because I, I forgot about the physical body and I was thinking more <laughs> about because we only see right the top of our heads here but yeah, yeah. of course I think you can radiate and mm-hmm. um, through your whole body right and exercise and taking care of your body obviously is important for that piece but I want to share really quick something that a client just shared uh, recently and that was that she told me she joined my workouts because she felt like she was going to be very aligned in order to manifest her boyfriend she was looking for a boyfriend and guess what she actually did (laughs) so it was the radiant of her inner and she does a lot of inner work so i'm sure that was a lot to do with it but it was also that um piece of wanting to be aligned and wanting to be more radiant you know to attract her partner and it happened so right that's the truth oh, that right there. Yes. I believe that story wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. <laughs> so I, so I want to go back to the, again, yeah, that piece of the inner radiance is that really listening, understanding who you are, what is it that's calling to you? And when you say yes to that, 
And then externally, yes, we need to take care of our body and mind and spirit, all of that. But then it is, it does become that glow, but the piece I think you just touched on is it also, we become magnetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. and not just are we glowing externally, but people, it's energy. So people feel our energy and we, we might not realize that. So if you can, again, we've heard these stories, you, people, someone can walk into a room and you can just feel the energy dampen because they're, they're a big, like grumpy energy, right? Or they're very, very domineering energy maybe. But if somebody walks in and we've had that you know, heard those experiences too. You walk in and you're open and you're filled with light and love for yourself. People feel that they're like, who's that person? Like, you know, I, and I've had some kind of interesting, funny things. I, I think people feel like she, I'm somebody famous and, I'm, and I know I've had people tell me I look like certain actresses, but I, I guarantee it's my energy because I've really worked on um, like your client really being that clear open channel and so it does exude a, a very strong energy um, in, in the outer world when we're in our full, you know, standing in our radiance. Absolutely. And, and you are famous to me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but yes. Oh, gosh. I think you oh, are man. so on point on that <laughs> one. And I love that word magnetism because really, why do we want to be radiant? Is it just for ourselves? I'm sure a piece of it is, but is it because we also want to attract, right? The things that we want in life and um, that radiance will create that magnetism that, as you well said, will attract people when you to you when you enter a room. And a lot of our practices, I know that are focusing on that. Um, so do you want to yeah. talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I would love to, yes. And I, I'm all about having people experience uh, what it feels like, right? So um, here's a little practice. So as you are watching or listening, um, I would love to um, invite you to really experience your radiance. And to do that, I want you to pause and think about uh, a moment where you were really doing something you naturally love to do. It could be, it's something that lights you up. Now that could be something like uh, speaking, it could be, you know, uh, time with a loved one, it could be doing community service, it's, it's whatever is uniquely for you related to your work um, or an activity. And like really close your eyes as you, as you bring something to mind. Uh, it could be dancing, you know. Um, I know Ann and I are both dancers, so put yourself back in that moment of feeling, being in that particular time. And some, maybe somebody's even complimenting you. A lot of times when we're really in our essence, we get complimented by people for what we are doing or who we are being. And, and feel like, how did you feel in that moment? Were you like tingly? Were you feeling excited? Were you just feeling your heart like beating outside your body? Did you have overwhelming joy? What Put, just feel into that particular situation and re-experience it now. Let yourself really soak in that situation. And it, as you sit there and feel that and experience that again, what you are really doing is experiencing your unique radiance. And maybe you get a little smile on your face as you think about it. I know I do when I, when I feel back into certain situations that just so lit me up. And it can, be the, it can be like simple things. I love to dance. So the last time I went dancing, I remember for two days afterward, I would just like bask in the glow of how that felt to be on the dance floor with great music and a great dance partner and just you know enjoying that whole moment. And we can have those types of moments every day. And, and how you have that is because you really get connected to and listen to what it is that lights you up and you, you pursue those things. Yeah. How was that experience for you, Anna? It was great. I closed my eyes. I was back when I was doing my performance that I've told you about because that was one of the times. And you made me think of a couple of interesting things. One, one thank you so much for doing that so beautifully. 
And, um, you know, the reminder of, is that the body doesn't know the difference between actually happening or your mind creating it, right? And I, and I tell people when we exercise this a lot, because I tell them, even if you don't have a lot of weight resistance, you can still imagine that you have the resistance. And just with our body muscles, we can do the same thing with our muscle up here, right? On the brain that we can create that, we can recreate it and have those same experiences, which is pretty amazing. So thank you so much for that. That was really, really wonderful. Yeah. And right. you're so welcome. Yeah. And I, and I think um, your practices are great to um, do as often as possible, right? So we can continue uh, building that radiance. Even if we feel like we're feeling really good, can we feel even better, right? Yes. I, um, I love the, as you know, the art of feminine presence practices that I've been doing for many years and now I teach. These practices are proven techniques that have been helping women and now actually men for, for many, many, many years to increase their magnetic presence specifically. So we are gonna be doing a lot of these practices during our retreat. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> so me too. I, I've dabbled in it a little bit. I've gone to a couple different programs and I know you you have really immersed yourself in becoming masterful at uh, some of these techniques and processes. So I am beyond excited that we get to both experience each other's work here. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm so looking forward to it and everybody that will share it with us, right? I think that's going to be amazing. And you know, one thing that I was thinking as, as well is, um, and we are going to talk about this, I think a little bit, right? Like how to find that radiance when we are not feeling 100% on what we are down. But one of the experiences I've had myself and also talking to other people is that now that we are going outside more and joining events, and um, sharing with other people's energies, which we haven't been doing much. We don't have a lot of practice, right? From the past few years. I hear a lot of my business colleagues and friends, I'm drained after a meeting or, you know, I need to replenish. And I have to be honest, I've been going to events and I feel more energized than when I came in. And it didn't used to be like this for me at all. I was very drained. So I know that these techniques help uh, to uh, stay very much within your energy and just keep it to yourself, right? Instead of giving it away or disperse it as some of us um, tend to do a lot of times. So I think that would be great for that piece as well. Absolutely. It's so true. So true. I, I love that you're bringing that up because it's something that we maybe don't even realize that we, we have conscious control over and we can manage and our energy and and protect that in in times too. And there's things we can do to get back to that baseline. So I think it's an speaking of power, like we were talking about, it the, is yeah. a superpower. <clears throat> yes. Our radiance is totally a superpower in so many ways. Again, that just just alone that magnetic quality. Um, so let's talk about because um, I love this topic. How do we find our radiance when we're down? Right. And, and, you know, I will admit, I'm not always that glowy person. Like I have emotions, I have, you know, shifts and changes in my life. So there's definitely practices that I have learned over time and I continue to do today. And so my, my answer is kind of like a two part practice for everybody. Um, number one is to listen to your self talk. This people are going to be shocked, I believe, you know, it, it, and I know because I know I was when I and I, maybe I talked about this in the first one, just really become hyper aware of what you say to yourself when, when you say even simple things like, oh, I look ugly today or, oh, I see this wrinkle. Right. If you're talking, focusing on the external beauty yeah. or things like I, you know. I'm not good at, I'm, you fill in the blank. I'm not fill in the blank, right? So stop it. Like check your self-talk and, and really stop the negative stuff. Just please stop it and redirect. And, and if you can't say anything positive, then just smile, at, you know, but try and come up with something positive. <laughs> I love that. And one way to then to really bring in the positive, and this was a huge, huge um, process, um, ritual that I did for many, many months. I talk about it in my book, a product line came out of it, and that is to do mirror work. So I, I and you mentioned it earlier with my mantra makeup mats is mirror work will, will help, will put you front and center with how you really feel about you. 
And when I did that for the first time, I, again, I was like, oh my gosh, I so don't love myself. Like I can say logically, intellectually, I love myself, but I could not feel love. I did not, you know, appreciate myself. So mirror work, even looking in the mirror and saying, good morning, as uncomfortable as that is, looking yourself in the eyes and then saying, uh, here's what I love and appreciate about you. Pick something different every day. I guarantee you can find, you know, a 10 things, but just pick one to start with and, and don't. And so say it, look at yourself in the eyes and then feel it, feel the gratitude in your body and, and doing a week of that. I, I, from, for me, like I started a perk up and come alive I'm like oh my gosh I like feel better and I love, I love your passion and energy about yeah. that but, <laughs> but I also think it's so true everything that you're talking about you know we have choice and I, and I, I didn't always believe this I think you have to mm. get to that place of believing that we have the choice of picking our thoughts yes you know I think there's a period of time that we probably don't believe that for most of oh, us I, I know I didn't you're right right yes. and then you get to a point that is like oh yeah I can actually pick them I can actually at least pick the ones I engage with right I mean you cannot pick everything that comes through your mind but yes you can pick the ones you engage so I think that's a conscious decision great reminder that you can do that and and the mirroring work I think is just amazing, right? Even when you don't want to, that you just stare and it's like, okay, what's going on today with you? How can I help you? <laughs> what advice will you give yourself to somebody if they were in your situation, right? I think questions like that to ourselves sometimes can be super powerful. And um, you were talking about uh, the concept of knowing that you love yourself or or thinking that you love yourself, but actually we talk about a lot about that on our previous life and it was about embodying it do you actually yes. feel that love for yourself and just like you express i spend most of my life not truly loving myself and not understanding what that was i know it now i do and i know that when i look at myself my eyes look different because of that right um so i think everything that you said is amazing and i totally wanted to to double um express that and and with my words and i also want to make the point of how important it is to go inside your feelings when they are not feeling as good right and we both have been through our father's lost and I think one of the reasons we are together and you know I mean I have to say as you said I was not radiant for many days I didn't want to do a life be on camera nothing like this because I didn't feel like it but it was just the fact that I let myself listen to my body go deep within that um, that I was able to from that not so good moments increase my radiance I believe even more because I was very mm -hmm. much in touch with it so the guilt of I should be doing this or I should be feeling better um, and this is not where I want to be. Sometimes I think it's what makes it be worse if we can get out of that guilt and just experience the feelings, even the bad ones, your radiance will actually come out stronger from that. I have recently mm -hmm. experienced that. So I just wanted to share that because I think it's very important to think about that as well, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I honor and appreciate your vulnerability to share that because a lot of times we do want to just put on that, the pretty face, the happy smile and, and all of that. And, and, and that that's, you know, what the world, we want the world to see, but there is, and not that we have to, you know, share everything, but yes, it, the power of really, uh, and, and I love that you shared that, the transformative power of facing and feeling and being with whatever that is that's going on right now. Um, I, I know my, my dog is um, 17 and he's having some trouble and I, I'm kind of fighting it back, but I, pretty soon I'm gonna be like really, you know, I've started to really dive into the, the feelings that are, that are coming up for me around, you know, his age and, and his issues. And I, I know you sharing your story of, of how you've done that recently is, is really helping me to like, just be okay with what is and face it. So thank you. For and, that. and we all go through things, right. And I'm really sorry about your puppy. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody here does. And we are believe that with this 
little tricks and tools that you can actually come out of it stronger and come out of it, you know, even more radiant. And I'm excited for our virtual retreat on Saturday. What are we calling yes. it? Yes. Much better name we, than that. Yes, we are calling it the Taste of the Soul Immersion Retreat yeah. Live. And we will be live on Zoom bringing more nuggets like you've experienced these last couple um, sessions with us to really put you into, um, how did you say it? The taste, the, the smell, the sights, the sounds of being live with us in Mexico um, in as May. As well as, I want to say that Christine and I will be sharing uh, a few of our favorite quantum transformation practices. So you're going to get a few more than what we've been doing during the week. Um, you are so one. right. So we hope that you can join us on Saturday. I'm going to put the and URL here. So it's tinyurl.com, taste of retreat. And you do need to sign up because it is a private Zoom um, webinar uh, workshop. And uh, we, um, want to um, know and have you there so and it's space is limited so yes we space want you is there. Limited. <laughs> yes. thank you for that awesome awesome um anna uh, this has been super fun and as always enjoy and love our deep dives into these powerful topics that help us shift right shift and it's that little by little, um, and we can have those quantum shifts too. I know that's something we're going to talk about in the future. So I don't want to, I don't want to open that yet, but um, these topics are powerful. And I know we pick them because they've been powerful for us individually. And um, that's again, part of what we want to do to bring, bring other women along into that shift and that transformation. Absolutely. And I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish with your quote. If Perfect. That's okay. so Absolutely, quote, go for it. I love it. So I want to read it. So this is Christine's quote from your book, correct? Mm -hmm. The yep. radiance of a woman is fully expressed when she wholeheartedly loves herself, puts her gifts and talents into action, and passionately pursues her the callings of her soul. We've been talking about that a lot today, and it's beautifully put to finish here. Thank you so much, Christine. I always enjoy being with you. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And yes. And we hope to see you on Saturday. <laughs> yes, we will see you on Saturday. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody.